Hello everybody, thanks for joining me in this very short video. I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Excel in Dynamics 365 online so that you can edit records in bulk. Let's try contacts. If I click on contacts, I get to see my active contacts. I'm going to see all active contacts. And I'm going to try and edit them in bulk using Excel. So up on the top, you have export to Excel. Next to it, you've got this button. Click on it. Open in Excel online. Sometimes this may not work at your organization because it's being disabled by your administrator. You can double check with them if you can't see it, but this is ideally what you will be able to see. So if I look at this, it's got the first name. I'm going to change that, get rid of something and then change the other one, etc. Um, and as I would do with uh, my Excel, I can filter and whatnot. So I'm just going to say test contact. I'll put their email as whatever email address you'd like. And if I hover over here over the company name, it actually tells you that this company name record must already exist in Dynamics for this to work. So if I hit save and I had just written some random company name, it won't re import this record and that'll just fail. Instead, I'm just going to copy one of these ones and put it in there because I know that this is in the system and that's pretty much all. So if I hit the save button down on this side, what it does is it's going to import the file as though it is a Excel import like you normally import into the Dynamics. Then if I take a look at this, it says data submitted for import. When I hit on track progress, it's going to take me to the import page, which says my imports. This is what's currently happening at the moment. It is in the status reason it says submitted, which means it's in progress. So if I refresh, see what's going on. I'll keep refreshing. I'll click on it to see where it's up to. It is still in submitted status, which means it's still working in the background. I'll wait for it and we'll come back. Now you can see it is in the parsing state. Now, as you can see, the status reason has turned itself to completed. There are 228 records that are successful and there is one error. Let me take a look and see what error that is. It says that one of the record lines in the Excel spreadsheet was empty. Maybe I just forgot to add that line. So I'm just going to go back to contacts and see if my test contact was created. Yes, it has been created correctly. So I can ignore the message of the failure on this import. I have successfully bulk edited the contact list. And that's it. If you have any questions or if you have suggestions as to what videos might be useful to you, feel free to use the comment section.